Despite what headlines say or what you read, the newspaper industry is not dying. Good morning, my name is Brad Hanahan. I'm with the Daily Herald Media Group. I uh, manage our advertising division in Libertyville, kind of oversee the advertising efforts of Lake County, Northern Cook County, and work with some of our largest uh, entertainment and travel accounts in Wisconsin. Um, wanted to talk to you a little bit about just general overview information about the newspaper industry in itself. Um, but before I do that, I want to really thank the GLMB Chamber for this event. Uh, I've been an active member with the GLMB Chamber for about six, seven years now. I've uh, attended many networking events. I serve on the board of directors as well. Uh, there's a lot of great networking opportunities to take advantage of through the GLMB Chamber and other area chambers of commerce. And that is one form of marketing. You've got to market yourself. You've got to market your brand. Like Connie said, you've got to get out there, and you have to do something. It's not always about spending money, uh, but it is about making sure that you're putting forth the efforts every day to get out there. Um, one thing I do want to kind of lead up with that, that despite what headlines say or what you read, the newspaper industry is not dying. It's not dying at all. Um, yes, there's a lot of other different types of media out there. Uh, internet, radio, billboards, direct mail, TV, uh, social marketing, social uh, media marketing, uh, email marketing, all great things, all things that you should all learn all about. But the newspaper market is actually doing very well locally. So as we look at the newspaper reach and, and how robust it is in all the different age groups in between men and women, we look at 62% of the total audience do read newspapers, and they use the newspapers for some of their major shopping decisions. 65% uh, women, so it's skewed more towards women, definitely more of the decision makers in the household when it comes to buying and, and, and looking for things to do. Internet sources, we know, definitely a growing trend. It, obviously, it has been over the last you know, seven, eight years. You know, we're looking at 57% of the total market. 53% of the total market use direct mail. Pieces of what people call junk mail at home. They're still very effective. And television at 45%. Uh, eight in 10 adults acted on a print ad in the last 30 days. That is probably the biggest objection that I work with. A lot of my local advertising sales representatives are, gosh, they ran one ad two weeks ago and no one called, no one did anything. It said it didn't work. Well, it's not always going to work. Uh, what is important, though, is that your readers and, and people that you want to tap into, they're going to become aware of a sale. Uh, it could work very well for a coupon clipping for, uh, for restaurants, uh, a little bit in the, uh, in the retail industry. But really, food, restaurants, groceries, that, those coupons are, are still being used very, very often. The shelf life of Sunday newspaper preprints, the, the stat that always pops out at me is that 44% of people that read newspapers and get a Sunday newspaper keep those inserts from Sunday two to six days. Only 14% of them are throwing in the recycling bin later that day. So those something that you know, can really keep a little bit longer of a shelf life. It's great for events, great for sales promotions, great just to keep the word out in the, uh, in the household a little bit longer. 42% of uh, consumers prefer inserts over mail or, or, or digital advertising means. So that's a very strong figure. We also look at the different types of uh, frequency of, of saving coupons. 62% use coupons for grocery or food, as opposed to 53% for non-grocery. So depending on your business and the types of clients that you work with, um, these are kind of some good stats to share and talk about different options in terms of, uh, you know, what's the right message and who should it go to and what kind of offers are you making? This stat here really explains the age and household income of those who are using the internet in the past 30 days. 79% of the total audience is using the internet. That's a statistic that's going to keep growing year after year. 44% use smartphone, another stat that's going to keep growing. Tablet, 25%. E-readers, 14 Another growth market. Take a look at the ages. You know, if you want to reach an audience that's 18 to 49, you're obviously going to want to look at and explore some opportunities for some internet advertising. Newspaper web visitors do have an above average in online shopping, where you have those who are visiting newspaper sites, 93% for, for total, and then you have the, those who had any kind of like net purchases actually took some action online with 84% uh, of those. The stat in the red, there's two, two lines here, go online for coupons for regular or online stores, 55%. And then those who are using mobile devices for shopping, we're looking at about 39% there. 
In summary, uh, consumers do use many forms of types of media platforms to plan their shopping and make purchasing decisions during the week. Newspaper, direct mail, radio, online, email marketing, social media. These are all in play here. And just familiarize yourself with these types of options. Get to know them. Uh, talk to different folks in the industry and, and just look for advice. Newspapers do lead all of the media sources for the seven-day usage to plan shopping. Newspapers do perform better than online sources. Eight out of 12 benefits tested. Then online led the newspapers on, uh, on three benefits. To summarize, consumers do take action as a result of newspaper advertising. 81% um, took some kind of action in terms of just responding to a message, using a coupon, uh, visiting your store or business at, in a sale or an anniversary or promotion. Uh, over one third of non-readers uh, use the newspaper during the week. Uh, consumers do take action as a result of preprint advertising. So those inserts that, uh, that do fill your Sunday and Wednesday newspapers, uh, they're very, very effective. Uh, certainly don't pass those opportunities up. Um, and this is kind of a big thing for me because I uh, used to talk about subscribers being the only ones that take a look at the inserts within the newspaper. Um, but that single copy buyer, which represents about 10% of a total circulation in any given newspaper's um, you know, total market, uh, 10% of those folks are still looking at these preprints and they're acting on them. So it's definitely worth tapping into some of those non-traditional daily subscribers. Uh, and the newspaper websites visitors far above average in online shopping opportunities. Uh, we have a dedicated uh, readership on, on print and online. Just good things to tap into, learn about, uh, and remember print is not dying.